Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga with Rituals. My name is Debra, and I'm really happy to be back and guiding you in this practice. Uh, this is a practice that's really good to do during the time of the full moon. A lot of energies come down at this time and people tend to have a sense of restlessness, a sense of chaos around and within them. And so it's good to do softer practices that also incorporate meditation. Uh, so we've done this practice for you to practice during this time of the month, but actually you can come back to this practice whenever you feel a sense of restlessness in your body or your mind. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the mat. So during the full moon, it can be a good time of the month to become a little bit more receptive, uh, a little bit more easy with ourselves and to keep moving, but maybe move a little bit slower. So we're going to start the practice actually laying down on the back. So go ahead and come to a comfortable position on your back. So I want to invite you to bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your chest. And at the start of the practice, we're just gonna connect to our breathing, inviting a nice long abdominal breath. So taking your time, making sure that as you inhale, the belly expands and it draw the breath all the way up into the chest. And as you exhale, First, your left hand, your chest sink down, and then your belly, your right hand, move towards the floor. So inhaling. And exhale, release. At the end of the exhale, gently pull your navel in towards you. Inhaling. Letting your breath become calm and steady. As the breath becomes more calm and more steady, the mind, the emotions also start to become a little bit more calm. So inviting that in at a time of the full moon when things can tend to go a little bit crazy. Next time you exhale, just drawing your knees in towards your chest. Just kind of pull the knees in towards you. Take a moment just to flex and point your toes. And rock a little bit side to side. And interlace your fingers kind of behind your thighs and just tuck your chin up towards your chest and just start to roll a little bit up and back. Again, kind of a playful movement here. Just enjoying uh, the movement and the softness. One more up and back. Good, and then go ahead and come to hands and knees position. In hands and knees, uh, I just want you to open the spine for a minute, maybe shift your hips a little bit side to side, right and left. Maybe your head goes in the opposite direction. So as your tailbone comes to the right, your head goes to the left. And then shift. And shift. Opening up the sides of the hips, the sides of the body. Good, and coming back into a child's pose. So your toes are touching, your knees are wide. And you're gonna reach your hands forward, keeping your arms engaged. So your elbows are off the floor and then your forehead drops down. Good, and then walking your hands over towards the left side. You're gonna reach your right fingertips as far away from you as you can, and you're gonna pull back with your right hip. And you're gonna feel a deep stretch along the whole right side of your body. See if you can stretch from the inside by directing your inhalation into the ribs on the right side of your body. And breathe, nice, full, steady slow breath. 
Good, and then walking back and going the other side. So taking your hands over and really extend that left fingertips forward. Pull back with your left hip. And the point here is the stretch along the whole left side of your body. Again, directing the inhalation into the ribs on the left side. Good, and coming back to center. And again, reaching forward with your fingertips and reaching back with your hips. Go ahead and bring your forehead to the floor. And feel the contact with earth, kind of a, another grounding energy here, allowing the mind to slow down. And then coming up to a hands and knees position. Inhale into a cat lift, kind of drop your belly. Open and exhale round the spine, pushing down, drawing the navel in. Inhaling again, cat lift position. Then exhale, turn your toes and press back to a downward facing dog. Again, starting kind of soft and gentle here. You can shift the hips a little bit, left to right. Maybe you bend the right and the left knee. Uh, just find a nice downward facing dog. Good, and dropping your knees to the floor, sit back on your heels, inhale, and come all the way up to kneeling, arms come up, and exhale, round the spine, hands down next to your heels, forehead on the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, folding down. One more, inhale, rising up, finding a slow, steady movement. And exhale, folding down. Hands next to your heels, forehead on the floor. Again, grounding, breathing. Good, and then slowly kind of round yourself up, sitting on your heels. Your head is the last to lift. You allow your spine to become straight. And you inhale, again, up to kneeling. And exhale, bring the hands down underneath your shoulders. Inhale, cat lift. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale and bring your right leg up behind you. Try not to force anything here, just a nice soft lift. And exhale, bring the hand, the foot between your hands. If it doesn't get there, take your ankle, guide it forward. Good, draw here. Slowly down through the right foot to lift up, crescent moon. Letting the hands come up, letting the heart open, gazing slightly up. Good, hands come down to the floor. And I want you to walk your hands over towards the left, going all the way to the other side of the mat. Finding yourself here, inhaling, reaching up and extending. Again, crescent moon drawing the heart up as you ground through your left foot and press the weight into your right heel. Extend, open. Good, hands down to the floor. Again, walk your hands again towards the center. This time, pigeon toe your feet in, holding it center, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Walking your hands to the left. So you're facing with your left foot in front. Inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. This time you're facing the opposite direction. Good, inhale, come forward to plank pose. And as you exhale, drop your knees and just lower your whole body very, very slowly. Elbows don't go out. They Come in towards your ribs, onto your belly. Inhale, lift up into cobra, extend up. And exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, lift to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog, come through your knees. Everything is a little softer. Your breath is steady. Good, your right foot again lifts up behind you. 
and then bringing it forward between your hands. Grounding down through your back foot, you're gonna windmill up into warrior two, gazing forward, holding here, and then pigeon toe your feet. Warrior two on the other side, turn your left toes to the front, finding your posture on the other side. Good, again, switch sides, finding warrior two. And this time as you inhale, come up and bring your hands touching in prayer, gaze up, and exhale, ground the energy down. Inhale, lifting up, exhale, grounding down. Inhale up, holding your hands above your head, turn your feet. Inhale, look up, exhale, ground down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, windmill your hands, find your lunge, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathe. Dropping your knees to the floor, touch your toes and sit back again on your heels, child's pose. Let your elbows this time come to the floor. Maybe you bring your hands together so that your thumb and your forefingers are touching. And again, you start to feel yourself settling down here. Combining movement with moments of rest. Good, back up. Finding yourself in a downward facing dog. Good, that left foot reaches up behind you. And you're gonna go ahead and step the left foot forward. Grounding your right hand underneath your nose, you're gonna twist open to face your leg. And exhale, release the left arm underneath you. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, come up. Good, walking your hands all the way over to the other side. And you're gonna ground your left hand down. You're gonna inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rising. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring your right hand down next to your foot. And come back to a downward facing dog. Okay, so you're gonna come forward to plank and with your knees lifted or with your knees grounded, you're gonna lower halfway or all the way to the floor. Good, and come up into your back bend, a little bit more extended. So if you're in cobra holding, if you're in upward facing dog holding, breathe. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good, your left leg reaches up behind you again. And exhale, bringing that foot forward between the hands. Warrior two, come all the way up. Straighten your front leg. Find Trikonasana, triangle pose. Holding here. Breathe, gazing up. Allowing the steadiness of the breath to create that stability and steadiness in the mind. Good. Coming up, you're gonna turn your feet out. You're gonna bring your hands to your knees and you're gonna drop your right shoulder down and look over your left shoulder. Then you're gonna switch. Drop your left shoulder down, look over your right and actively push that left knee away with your left hand. Good, one more. And twist the other side. Good, then come up. Pigeon toe your feet, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Come up halfway, bring your left hand underneath your nose and open up your right hand. Try not to let this left hip come in too much. Really press through your right foot. You'll feel the twist more in your middle back. And release, switch sides. From here, extend up. And back down one more time on the right. And one more time on the left. 
Good, coming back to center. Bend your knees, hands to your hips, come all the way to stand. Turn your right toe to raise the front of your mat. And reach forward, coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe. Good. Bringing your left hand down, finding your lunge, inhale, exhale again, downward facing dog. So we're gonna do three cleansing breaths here. You're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Again, inhaling and exhaling. One more, inhale and exhale. Good, coming forward into plank. You're gonna lower your knees all the way down onto your belly. And from here, just come up into Sphinx Pose. Let your elbows come underneath your shoulders. You're gonna let your heart extend forward. You're gonna breathe. Nice deep breaths, opening the chest and letting the lower back release. Two breaths here. Good, and then bringing your hands underneath your shoulders coming up and finding your downward facing dog. Good, walking your feet forward towards your hands. Micro bend your knees and slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Come all the way up to standing. When you get there, just let your feet ground down. Breathe. So you can stay at the front of your mat. Um, we're gonna do some balancing postures, so you can also come to the center of your mat. You're gonna ground through your right foot, bring your left foot to your inner shin or to your upper inner thigh for tree pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Find somewhere on the floor to gaze at that's not moving. And then you're gonna extend your arms up and let your arms go out to the side. Keep drawing your left knee back. Feeling your balance. If you fall or wiggle, just come right back into the pose. Take your time. Good, and bring your hands to the heart. Extend your knee forward. So you have two options. Keep your knee here, or if your balance is off today, put your toe on the floor. Bring your arms out to the side. In whatever variation you are, take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and twist, look over your left thumb. Breathe. Coming back to center, hands to the heart, and release the foot down. And shift to the other side. So weight down on the left foot, right foot to your shin or your upper inner thigh. Hands to the heart. Find your tree pose, breathe. Extend your arms up. And bring the hands back down. Bring your knee out to the side, arms out wide, or toe on the floor. Okay, twist, gazing your, over your right thumb. And release. Good, inhaling, reaching. And our last standing posture, you're gonna sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Again, feeling the energy really grounding through your hips and through your feet. Staying here in chair pose, breathe. This should feel intense, so if your breathing starts to get heavier or you want to start to come out, you're probably doing it right, breathe. Bring your hands to your heart and softly fold over your legs, release your head. I want you to shake your head a little bit here, side to side. Good, and then from standing, I want you to bring your left knee to the outside of your right ankle. So you're gonna let the knee come here and you're gonna sit down. Okay, adjust your seat if you need to. So now you're sitting on both sit bones. So if this tends to lift up, try to push the right hip down. Okay, you're gonna bring your left arm up and take it over the right knee. And you're gonna take your right hand back behind you and you're gonna twist looking over your right shoulder. Breathe. Pull your navel in. 
and twist a little bit deeper. Not forcing anything. Always allowing a gradual and gentle opening. When we force ourselves into postures, the body tends to clench or tighten. And right now, we want everything to be open and fluid. Good, release. So you're gonna come back up to your fold. You're gonna have both feet underneath you, release your head. I want you to interlace your fingers at the base of your skull and create a little bit of traction on your neck. This should feel pretty good. And breathe, you can even swing a little bit. Okay, then you're gonna take your right knee to the outside of your left foot. Sitting down here, grounding through both of your hips. You're gonna reach your right arm up and extend it over your left knee, left hand behind you. Lengthen your spine, look over your shoulder. Navel pulls in, twist. And release. Bring both feet out in front of you. Take your left foot to the inner right thigh. Extend and you reach up and exhale. Go ahead and fold forward over your foot. Again, not pulling into any posture. Softening, maybe you even back out. Relax your body and extend forward. Good, coming back up, switch legs. Left in front, right in, extend to up, breathe and fold. Again, extending forward, lifting your ribs up out of your hips. Doesn't matter how deep you go in this fold, you could even be here and that's perfectly wonderful. Breathe, keep your breath easy, full, steady. And slowly come back up, extend both legs. And last seated posture here, lift up and fold. You can hold on to your legs, your knees, your ankles or the outsides of your feet. Again, take your time and allow the pose to unfold. Don't be in a rush. As long as you feel an opening and a stretch in your body, you're doing it right. And as long as you're not rounding too much through your spine, just extend your heart and one more breath. Good, walk your feet up. And draw your knees in towards you. Hug your knees, lengthen your spine, breathe. And then from here, you're gonna find your way into a seated posture. So it may be on the floor. Maybe it's sitting with your heels behind you. Maybe you get a cushion or something to sit on. It's a good time. We're just gonna do a really short meditation to end the practice. It's good to meditate at the time of the full moon to help to calm the energies that tend to be a little bit more frenetic at this time of the month. So let your spine be nice and straight. Maybe put your hands on your lap, or on your knees with your palms facing up. So allowing yourself to be a little bit more receptive here. Your breath is easy, your shoulders are relaxing, but your spine is still nice and straight. And I want you to, for a moment, imagine there are waves of water around you, inside of your body, outside of your body. And with each breath, this movement and these waves become a little bit more calm, more settled. Especially as you exhale.
exhaling, you allow a sense of calmness to move within and around you. Any movement that you feel inside of your body, outside of your body, everything begins to become a little bit more settled, a little bit more at peace. As the energy around you settles down, you might start to be aware of a stillness or a silence. Even when there are sounds around you, you can be aware of all the sounds around you. You can listen to those sounds and simultaneously begin to listen to the silence within you. So it's your choice. You can remain here in meditation for as long as you would like. Or you can come laying on your back in Shavasana. Allow yourself a few moments laying on the back to just let go, release the energies into the earth and relax your body. Just take a slow transition from this practice back into your evening or your day. Um, and thank you for your presence and for practicing. <laughs>